Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, if you can, hit that like button for me. Let's see if we can reach over 500 likes. If we can, I'll keep the Mario and Luigi Dream Team marathon going. You guys have earned yourself a bonus episode for today, and you're watching it right now. If you haven't seen the previous one, then click the annotation on screen, and that will take you to the previous episode, because a lot has happened since then. We actually battled the Elite Trio. We figured out that Princess Peach was actually kidnapped, and she was being, uh, she was being uh, mimicked, or she was an imposter uh, played by Kamek because we all know Kamek just wants to be a lady and unless Kamek's a lady then in which case uh, Kamek's a really ugly lady cuz Kamek is hideous anyways today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making our way back to the pillow castle except not really we're just gonna take the pipe Yep, that's 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 what we're gonna do. We heard that Dr. Snoozemore, the preparator of the Pillow Island, made his way back finally to run his castle. So we're gonna go have a little chat with this idiot. He kind of reminds me of Professor Egad, uh, at least the way he looks. But I don't really know how he is in this game. Oh wait, I do. I'm pretending. I'm pretending that this is like a first time playthrough for me because a lot of people tend to uh, to whine when I uh, when I when I spoil things ahead. But we'll pretend that I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey. Hey, it's my favorite blockhead. Peoples! News, news for you. The preparator of this island, Dr. Snoozemore, has returned. His promotional tour, this has come to an end at last. Hey, it's that idiot who wanted to kill us. I, I'm gonna tell your doctor, or the preparator of this island about you. We have an urgent need to speak with Dr. Snoozemore. Where is he? The professor retired to the underground collection room. You recall this where you first met Dreambird? Indeed, quickly now, we must away. Ah, you are wait wanting to head into that room? Then I have the petite gift for you, this way. Au revoir, the shortcut. That's what? You say that you haven't urgent to see the professor, oi? Right? But tell the truth, you fell in love with the room. Oh, yeah, satisfied. Oh, yeah, I do not judge this. You are welcome to go there anytime. Enjoy this to the fullest. Oi, oh, yeah, au revoir. You're such an idiot. He was like waiting for us. All right, good thing we didn't walk. We used the pipe. That's really the cool. Whoa. Whoa. My bad. I don't know how they survived that, but dang. I wish I could fall off of like a nice ledge like that and still be fine. Dr. Snoozemore! Hmm, yes, I'm Snoozemore, the preparator of this island, and you must be... Mr. Mario and Luigi, yes, I have heard of you. Welcome to Pillow Island. Z Professor, wake up! We need your help! Hmm. My deepest apologies. As you may know, I research sleep. Clearly sleep also research me. He's probably cursed. Professor, chaos regains over isla the island. Hmm. Hmm. I must be dreaming. It is. Can it be true? A pillow! How can this be? The pillows are extinct. Bobbity bobbity. Blam! Oh, that woke me up. <laughs> He's back to sleep. That'd be so scary though if you were actually like that. If there's a condition that just constantly made you sleep, that'd be the scariest thing ever. Oh my gosh, this will take forever. Get this man some coffee, dude. Mm, yes, I see. Much transpired in my absence. Yes, and Tasma and Bowser united their energy. Soon after, a wicked castle appeared in the sky. And Princess Peach got kidnapped. Mm, yes, so you plan to infiltrate this castle. Correct. Once within, we could uh, cast down on Tasma again. And things are now, though, we don't stand a chance. Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes. Stop saying that, dude. You're creeping me out. Mm hmm. Why does he do that? That's. He's, he's kind of weird. Like, seriously, there's, this dude has issues, some deeper issues. The Z Keeper. I'm sorry, the Z Keeper. That giant bird that people say lived here long ago? Hmm, yes. The Z I swear to God, if you say it one more time, dude. Don't you dare. The bird of legends that lived in harmony with the pillows. Many times he protected the pillow kingdom from disaster. If you could find that guardian. Wait, find him? He's around? 
What the fudge, dude? Stop saying mmm, yes. I deem he is. The Z-Keeper must be within the dream world. If you can find him and convince him of your need, of course. The Z-Keeper would be might, uh, a mighty ally. He wields a beam that could shatter the castle barrier. Prince Dreamer. You are well-traveled in the dream world, I trust. Have you seen any clues? Anything Z-Keeper related? Something Z-Keeper-ish? Z-Keeper-like? Z-Keeper Squiz? Any of this ring a Z-Keeper bell? Well, I recall something in the dreamy pillow castle. I saw a strange statue of a Z-Keeper somewhere. Hmm. That statue might hold the clue you need. So it's settled. Let's make our way for Dreamy Pillow Castle right now. Nice on the clean bed that Prince Dreamer. So I don't understand if 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 Prince if the pillows are actually pills. Mmm, is that a dream portal? Good luck getting uh, some info about the Zookeeper. So if pillows are pillows, why do they need beds to sleep on? Can't they just become a pillow and just you know fly anywhere and just you know sleep wherever the heck they want? Unless pillows were actually not pillows, but they were called pillows for a reason, and they became pillows over time. I don't know, man. Over there! Alright, so this is gonna be fun. We're gonna be exploring Dreamy Pillow Castle now. Um, if my mind's eye is true, there was a Z-Keeper statue beyond this door. <clears throat> so, not only are we gonna be searching for the Z-Keeper statue, but we're also gonna be learning, like, I think two new Luigianary moves. Wait, wait, two or three? We're gonna be learning three new Luigianary things. It's gonna be awesome. Let's move on. So, um, yeah, Dreamy Pillow Castle. This is, uh, this is interesting. We're gonna head into the deepest den of Dreamy Pillow Castle. The place we've actually been to before when we saved Princess Peach. This is where Antasma brought her down. All the way down here. I don't know why he chose to kidnap Peach. You know, I don't remember. They, they probably explained it earlier on in the game, and I, I probably read it out loud to you guys, but I forgot. There it is, as in memory, the Z-Keeper statue. Ah, yes, I remember now. I was still so young when it came to pass. Yes, long ago I entered Dream Steep. Oh, it's called Dream Steep, okay. It was here that I learned to summon the Z-Keeper. It is not easy to call him forth. When I was here as a youth, I had no idea where to begin. And though I have met the Z-Keeper in the real world, I am afraid that I do not recall how to summon him. Hmm. I sense this statue holds the Z-Keeper's secrets, but... Well, let us investigate this area a bit first. Okay, so as you can see, there are three little circles on the Z-Keeper. We actually have seen this statue a lot, so many times in Pillow Castle, or around the Pillow Island, and I, it's just so weird that I never really thought anything of it when I looked at it. Now that I actually look at the uh, the, the statue, and I I kind of get reminded of those like big bird-like thingies that you see walking around like all of Pillow Island, especially like in Wakeport and Pillow Castle. Those things look like Z-Keepers, just like little small ones at least. So they could be like the descendants of like an actual Z-Keeper, like inbreds of something. You know, I don't know, but these things I would try to stay away from because they are actually extremely powerful and I do not want to battle anything else right now. I've had enough of battling and yeah, I think I'll probably do that off screen because I tend to do a lot better. Anyways, you can use Luigi Nation in a place like this, but there does, there does not seem to be any room to maneuver. This is where Luigi puts his mind at work and comes up with something mind-boggling. What? Your mind has opened to yet another new shape. You betcha. So we're gonna go inside of this, and you will see this guy. R once, R twice, oh my god, it's a ball! Whoa, a ball! Can you move around using the circle pad? Oh, you bet, dude. Whee! Ha ha ha! Look at you on a roll! Ha! See what he did there? See what he did there? Tell me you saw what he did there. He's a punny dude. Dreamy! With this shape, exploring will be a snap. Just a reminder. 
but to switch the icon, you must press the R button, okay? To return to normal, press the L button to collapse, then hit the B button. Alright, so now that we learned this, we can actually explore this a lot quicker, the rest of this area. So we need to find two more switches to hit. Um, and they're actually pretty straightforward. Like, this is this is really, really, really easy to get through. It's not hard at all. So we're going to head our way down here now. And I think this is where we actually learn another move. Um, let me just go all the way here because there's going to be some coins up there. Oh, we can't go up there. So it looks like what I need to do is I need to go like that and then make my way here. All right. Looks like we came to a dead end. A dead end. I sense something. Might you be able to use your new shape somehow? Luigi's putting it back at work, his brain, because when Luigi does that, he tends to come up with the craziest things. That's why Professor Egad saw some special things in him, which is why he wanted him to be the, the, the owner of the mansion. Because Luigi helps him with his research, alright. Wonderful! Pressing the B button pops out a string of Luigi noids. I sense that if you wanted to let go, you can press the A button. Ah! How'd you know that? Dreamy! You learned a new move. So that's the second new move we learned. We're going to be learning one more, which is actually a powerful move. You guys would be like, whoa. It's going to be nice. All right, so now we need to do the same exact thing, but on this hook right here. It's taking a little bit of Zelda. Nintendo taking some pages out of that Zelda book. But yeah, those are 50 coins, dude. I'm thirsty for those coins right now, dude. I seriously like coins. I love coin. Aw, oh, Jesus! Crap, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so what I did is I pretty much screwed myself by going all the way up there to the top now. So now I have to make my way back to the bottom just to go all the way around. All because I was blinded by a 50 coin. But that's okay, so we're, we're gonna make our way up there anyways again, so it's all good. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, let's climb like that. Let go. There's another one. Alright, I'm not gonna be going down for that coin. Screw that, I already collected two of them. That's all I really needed. And, yeah. Because it's not like 50 coins will do really that much to me. It's just 50 coins. Alright, let's go ahead and let go. And make our way down here. And then we should find the second, uh, the second switch. Okay, let's just get out of here. This is honestly, like, the most annoying thing about this is because we learned so many new Luigi- See, this part it actually lacks the, the game. I noticed that. Uh, it happened a couple of times every time I left and came back in this area. But the thing is, um, crap, what was I going to say before the lag? Oh, so now that we're going to be learning a lot of new luigi things with just the- with this move, um... It's going to be extremely hard to, like, back out of it, because clicking A or B while doing a Luigi and thing actually commands a different thing. So, it sometimes gets a little bit redundant, but I think I can get uh, the hang of it, or at least get used to it. But we're going to avoid these guys. I'm going to go back and fight all of them, like, battle as many as I can before... The next episode, not in this episode, obviously, because battling does take a lot of time, and I'd much rather just keep that all off of the videos, because I realize that I do much better battling when I'm not recording. Crap! Well, it looks like these things uh, hit me. I thought it was going to go the opposite way, but apparently not. Welcome to a Dream World battle, and I'm going to flee, because screw that, man. These things are so hard to kill, too. Anything that's always concealed in, like, in a box or, like, anything, it just they, they're just really hard to destroy or kill. But, yeah, this is the next part that we needed to be at right here. Um, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, I think this is the part. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple more spaces. This place is actually extremely easy. It's a joke, honestly, to get through every little place in this area. Okay, so... What you could do is you could just go around and collect coins and stuff if you really want to. But I'm just going to cut right to this chase because, you know, I'm, I just want to get done with this part, man. I want to get out of this creepy dream world. So as you can see, there's these blocks right here. Now, they have cracks on them, meaning that they're 
poss you could possibly break through them. But the thing is, we don't know how to do that just yet. But we're going to figure that out right now. We're going to learn a nice and clean new technique uh, by or, or from our little favorite professor. Or our favorite pillow, I should say. And yeah, that should be right now. Ugh, stuck. Unless Luigi does something to help us. Did he just say tomato? Mario, what are you doing? Oh my god! It's like a hammer! What? Truly? If you press the A button, you can swing the Luigi-nary ball! Perhaps if you press the A button again... Woo! And you can fling it! Ha ha ha! Is there no end to your powers? Shall we call it the ball hammer? Let us break those as well. Oh yeah. Can you aim lower than hurl it? Oh yeah. We could do anything, man. You learned the ball hammer. Press the A button to swing the ball and press the A button again to hurl it. While you're swinging the ball, use the circle pad to move up and down. Nothing can stop us now. Onward. So now that we've learned that, we can actually backtrack to the previous room and use this to break the blocks there. And then that will conclude the episode because that will be it. Once we actually hit the switch to activate the next little portal thing, um, then we'll figure out what to do next because the thing will be activated. But I want to save that for the next episode because I actually want to I want to have something to do in the next episode <laughs> and, and not be too far ahead. Um, all right, so I think we're going to need this again question is oh we can we can latch on to that if we really want to and then just latch off and then just use this to get up there watch we can beat it oh yeah all right oh yeah and we destroyed it there we go very nice all right guys and then with all that being said we just go ahead and hit this thing with the hammer and voila! The final thing is activated. And now we can talk to the Z Keeper. At least it doesn't look like we can talk to it because it doesn't look like it's a living thing. It just looks like it's gonna project something for us to watch, maybe. And it'll kind of tell us exactly what we need to do. So that will conclude today's episode of Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like we got a lot accomplished today. So if you want to see us do a lot more tomorrow, then go ahead and leave a like. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'm more flexible with posting a lot more on the weekends. So let's see if we can reach an insane amount of likes on this episode. If we can, I will try my best to post three videos tomorrow, Saturday, and on Sunday. I think you guys would really, really enjoy that. So thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Goodbye.